this lesson, you are expected to identify and use words that show degrees of comparison of adjectives in sentences. Kids, welcome to our English class. I'm teacher and your teacher for today. In today's lesson, we were going to discuss about the three degrees of comparison of adjective. But before that, let's have a review first. Again, what is adjective? Very good. An adjective is a word that describes a noun or pronoun. It may tell something about number, quality, and color. It may describe one or more person or things. Also, adjectives have positive, comparative, and superlative forms or degree. Are you ready? Let's begin. Degrees of comparison of adjective. Positive form or degree. Adjective is said to be in its positive form because it indicates no comparison. We are describing just one noun or pronoun. Example Small Big Beautiful Let us use these words in a sentence. That box is small. This cat is big. Ia is beautiful. In these sentences, we only describe the box, the cat, and Maria. Comparative form or degree. Adjective is said to be on its comparative form or degree when we use to compare two nouns or pronouns. Example, smaller, bigger, more beautiful. It is formed by adding ER or by using more before the adjective and then after the adjective. This box is smaller than the other one. The first box is compared to the other box. Her cat is bigger than Lisa. In this sentence, her cat is compared to Lisa's cat. Rose is more beautiful than Anna. In this sentence, Rose and Anna is being compared. The third one is the superlative degree. Adjective is said to be in its superlative form when we compare or describe more than two nouns or pronouns. How do we form the superlative degree of adjective? It is formed by adding EST at the end of the word or by adding most before the adjective. Adjectives ending in Y form their comparative and superlative forms or degrees by changing Y to I and add ER or EST. Let us read the following examples. Pretty, prettier, prettiest. Lovely, lovelier, loveliest. Remember, there are also some adjectives that form their comparative and superlative degree by changing their spelling. Example of this is good, better, best, bad, worse, worst. Let's have some more examples. Let us read aloud the following words in the pictures. Long, longer, longest. Small, smaller, smallest. Big, bigger, biggest. Good, better, best. Hot, hotter, hottest. Cold, colder, coldest. Slow, slower, slowest. Bad, worst, worst. Good job, kids. Let us try to answer this one. Very good. Let us check your answers. Let's try this one. Read and complete with the comparative or superlative. Number one, this exercise is blank. Easy than the previous exercise. Very good. The answer is easier. 
Number two, this TV show is blank interesting. You got it right. The answer is more interesting. Number three, yesterday was blank hot day of the year. Very good. The answer is hottest. Number four, it is blank difficult test of all. Yes, our answer will be most difficult. Last number, number 5. This pen writes blank good than my previous one. Great! The answer is better. Remember kids that a positive degree indicates no comparison. Comparative degree compares two nouns or pronouns. Comparative degree is formed by adding ER or using more before this adjective and than after the adjective. Relative degree compares more than two nouns or pronouns. It is formed by adding EST or adding most before the adjective. That's all for today kids. Again, this is Teacher Anne. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.